Most of everything we've got on today. I believe found it helpful as we were suggesting it's set up. We make sure we get a little bit more over the golf ball, more tilt with the spine angle, so that the chest now is pointing down towards the golf ball. The problem we had in the past here now we can see the spine very, very upright, head just dropping forward. It's going to put a lot of tension now to the top part of the shoulder blade there. And that was the reason why when after the practice session you were getting some pain in that position. We also want to try to make sure that right finger isn't creeping down the shaft as we can see here now that's going to put again a lot more stress sort of down the forearm if this finger is sort of creeping down there so once that right finger is underneath we can now make a more of a rotational movement as we said the right foot now will move as a result of your hips twisting and when your body's in a better position the right hip can twist a lot more effectively and that right foot now just come up on its toe into a nice balanced and full follow so just that setup just get your chest pointing down for the golf ball a bit more lean and then from there you can just make a full rotation and you'll find the right foot now which come on its toe naturally as a result of your hips turning. So hope that helps. Any questions obviously you can give me a shout. I'll see you next week. Cheers.